Minor girl gang rape in Dima Hassau. Locals demand justice. Karbenglong Autonomous Council EM Lunsing Tehran visits Pangji Hanse village. EM Prodi Prompi visits Chintong Block SS Development Box in the area. Hello and welcome to Karbenglong Life. I'm Julie Hansepi with the latest news for today and now the news in details. In a very heartbreaking news coming from our half-long correspondent, a nine-and-a-half-year-old girl was allegedly gang raped by three railway employees at Dihako, a remote village in Dimahasau district around 65 km away from district headquarters half-long. The incident took place on 24 August last. However, the matter came to light when local organization and student bodies heard about the incident and visited the family on Tuesday night to know the truth. An fire had been lodged with Langting police station on the same night. Police have arrested 26-year-old Pramod Kumar in this connection, while two other identified as Dihako Railway Station Master Jitender Singh and Railway Police Alok Kumar are still absconding. A case number 15-2020 under Section 376D of IPC RIT and Section 4 and 5 of Protection of Children from Sexual Offenses Act have been registered and an investigation is on to NAP, the other culprits is on. The girl was sent to Havlong Civil Hospital for medical tests and result is awaited. The horrific incident took place when the victim went to a stream nearby the station to fetch drinking water where the three accused were taking bath and molested the girl inside the abandoned bathroom. Meanwhile, students' organization has condemned the incident and demanded the concerned authority to immediately book the culprits and put them behind bars. The mother of the victim told reporters that their daughter was molested and said that their calls for justice have been neglected because they are very poor and cannot afford to pay or hire anyone to get justice. Kal jo diha ko jo daukhang basti hai, wahan pe hamlo ka team jaake aur saath hi media person jaake jo hamlo ko khabar mila tha ki ek जुबिनाइल एक बच्चे के ऊपर एक दर्दनाक हादसा हुआ है तो उसके बेसिस पर हम लोगों ने हमारी तरफ से काफी चांदबिन हम लोगों ने इंक्वायरी भी हम हमारे बीच करा के हम लोग एफआर भी दिया था और साथ ही साथ एफआर देने के बाद आज यहाँ हफ्तों सिविल हॉस्पिटल में मेडिकल एग्जामिनेशन के लिए यहाँ उस बच्ची को और उनकी फैमिली को यहाँ पे लाया गया है। मेनवाल दिमासस मिलिटेंट ग्रुप दिमासस नेशनल लिबरेशन आर्मी हैज कंडेम्ड द इंसिडेंट एंड डिमांडेड इमीडिएट अरेस्ट ऑफ़ द कल्प्रिट्स एंड टू बी हैंडेड ओवर टू दिमासस ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस। जो था हम आज सोशल मीडिया प जो स्टेशन मास्टर और खलाशी और एक आरपीएफ में एक 99 इयर्स का लड़की को रेप किया था ये रेप ये रेप का बारे में हम सुनते हैं हम लोगों को बहुत बुरा लगा इसलिए हम आसाम गवर्नमेंट एंड जिम्मा हासिल कर जो पुलिस को वो लोग को हम रिक्वेस्ट करता हूँ जल्दी से जल्द पकार के वो लोग को पकार के हम लोग का जिम्मा ऐसे छोड़ देगा हाँ ऐसे करेगा होने से तो हम लोग बहुत शांति नहीं रहेगा हम लोग जिम्मा आसों में लाखने से तो हम लोग स्टेशन ही नहीं रहेगा सुरेश बर्मन रिपोर्ट फ्रॉम हाफलों कर्बियांगों लाइव In a news that has come from Bokajan, two persons were injured in an accident that took at a place under Bokajan police station on Friday evening. The incident occurred at around 4.30 p.m. when two persons on a bike with a registration number AS05J7013 moving from Bokajan towards Sarupathar went off-road in front of Hanjanglangso Sarbasiksha Abhijan office. According to eyewitnesses, the accident happened when the rider went off the road during an attempt to avoid a goat which suddenly appeared on the road in front of them. They immediately informed the Bokajan police station and called 108 ambulance and victims were rushed to Bokajan CHC medical attention. The victims have been identified as Ranjit Gogoi, age 20, and Prasanta Match, age 18. 
The duo were stated to be on their way home to Sarupathar when they met with the accident. The victim identified as Prasanta received minor injuries, while the second victim identified as Ranjit is stated to be in critical condition at the time of this filing report. Anand Teran's report from Bokajan for Carbon Long Live. With the aim of promoting entrepreneurship and economic self-independence, the Social Welfare Department under the Karbyanglong Autonomous Council on Friday distributed assistance to the trainees, NGOs, and self-help groups during the ceremonial distribution program of training materials, check and yarn to trainees, NGOs, and self-help groups held at the Office of District Social Welfare Officer Ronghelan in Dipu. The program, which began at 11 a.m., was presided over by the District Social Welfare Officer Helen Turampi and was graced as chief guest by Karbiano Autonomous Council EM in charge, Social Welfare Kachi Rongpipi. She was accompanied by nominated MEC Sima Ronghangpi and several other officials and staffs of the department. During the program, checks of Rs. 10,000 were handed over to 150 self help groups, while yearns were distributed to 50 self help groups. In addition to this, Rupees 10,000 checks were also distributed to 19 NGOs, while 21 knitting machines and 22 sewing machines were also handed over to the trainees who have completed one year training. EM Kachi Rompipi also distributed ground and aid checks of Rupees 10,000 to each of 100 persons with disabilities. While speaking at the event, EM Kachi Rompipi said that the Central State and Karbanglong Autonomous Council are also committed towards progress and economic independence to self-help groups, NGOs, the youths and people with different abilities and today's program is one big example of its commitment towards them. She also said that the governments are also putting their efforts in helping educated and unemployed youth across the country. While stressing on self-independence, EM Rongpipi called upon all the beneficiaries to make full use of the assistance provided to them, stating that the materials provided to them would help them in looking after their family education of children. She also reminded that the materials provided to them are not to be kept inside their home, but are to be utilized. She also stated that the government is ready to help individuals who are skilled, hardworking, and committed in their work. She concluded her speech with a hope that several groups, NGOs, and trainees who receive materials would make positive impact on their livelihood and the society as a whole. <laughs> Bikram Cross report for Carbon Long Life. Carbon Long Autonomous Council EM Lunsing Teron had on Friday visited Pangji Hansi village under Mahamaya constituency as a part of his tour to all the polling station under his home constituency. Mahamaya MEC and EM Lun Singh Teron is on a tour around his home constituency to know about the problems faced by his people. He had on Friday visited Pangji Hansi village. During his visit, the EM had discussion with the local public on various issues related with development. He inquired about whether the villagers are receiving benefits of the various schemes taken up by the government. EM Tehran's visit is aimed at assuring people that a BJP government is doing all efforts to improve the lives of the people. He urged the people to keep supporting the party and give opportunity to serve them. Keeping in line with the Atma Nirbhar Bharat slogan, the EM urged people to work hard to become self-reliant. He was accompanied in his visit by Mahamaya Constituency Mandal Committee members, Dogmoka Municipal Board Chairman, Mohila Morcha members, and several other party supporters. Bikram Teran's report from Denarong, Karbanglong Live. In a similar action, local MEC of Chintong, Prodeep Rongpi, on Friday paid a visit to his home constituency and held a meeting with the local leaders and officials. Here is a report sent to us by our correspondent. 
Karbanglong Autonomous Council EM in charge for PHE department Prodi Prompi visited Chintong Block to know about the problems that are troubling the people in the Karbanglong and Meghalaya. In the meeting held in the presence of local leaders, a construction committee was formed to supervise and look after that all families in the border areas get a benefit of schemes like PMAYG, AWAS Plus, etc. He urged the local leaders to ensure that each person in the border areas have other card so that they may apply for various schemes in the future. <laughs> During the visit, the EM met BDO Suresh D. Sangma, Chintong VDC Chairman Corson Senar, Gram Rosgar Shayok, Sarsen Crow, and many other leaders. In the presence of everyone, EM Rongpi assured that he will give all efforts to develop the area under Chintong Block. Daniel in his report from Hamran, Carbon Long Live. Audio jungle. Well, that's all we have with us for today. Thank you for watching Carbon Long Live.